So I'm, I'm out with Ed today. We are doing a, a national lockdown exercise routine. Just coincidentally, we have met here, well, wasn't oh. planned, was it? No. You just came and I saw you, I haven't seen you for ages. I thought, well, <laughs> we might as well kind of walk in close proximity. Get our exercise, get our vitamin D, and uh, maybe have a, have a chat, if that's allowed. So we're, uh, we're in Clent Hills today, and uh, we're less than a week away from the end of the national lockdown, after which we'll go into a tiered system, which is just another lockdown. <laughs> So the government's putting us into uh, a tiering system where most of the country is in what they call tier two or tier three, which is locked out in all but name. Pubs aren't open in tier three, the restaurants aren't open. Um, and even then, you're not allowed to eat or meet, even in tier two, uh, people outside your own household in venues like, um, like restaurants or pubs. So we're effectively into uh, um, another national lockdown in all but name. We are going to be allowed to have uh, five days, um, you might say total freedom, that's a bit stretching it, at uh, Christmas, five days over Christmas, and although it's not been declared yet, it's almost a near, it's a near certainty, we're going to go back into a full national lockdown in January to try and probably control the mess that Christmas causes in terms of infections and hospitalizations and so on. So it looks like we're going to be in a series of lockdowns. Pressure is going to be kept up all the way through to the spring when the respiratory diseases that people get tend to fade away and you end up um, people spending more time outdoors in the sunshine and it'll flatline. Now at the same time they're talking about this is when the vaccines are going to be coming on stream in volume so it might be um, it's either going to be the virus is going to wear itself out um, over the winter or we're going to end up in a situation where we're going to be uh, people large numbers of people are going to be taking a vaccine and then effectively that will get us to herd immunity hopefully back to some sort of normality although i can say it's it's at the moment it's not looking like that's guaranteed um, but anyway, in the meantime, we're going to try and get as much outdoor exercise and um, just exploring as we possibly can to keep ourselves bloody sane. Healthy mind, healthy body. Well, I, I think so too. I think this um, this idea of uh, kind of trying to suppress the virus so much that people basically are locked in their own homes. I mean, what a miserable experience. Yeah. I mean, imagine having to spend Christmas on your own. Yeah. I mean, yeah, right. we don't have to, no, fortunately, but yeah. imagine that people had to do that. How far have we walked, Ed? Uh, 10 miles, I reckon. <laughs> well, we've walked about three or four miles. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> it's still misty in the valleys, the valleys down there. Minor irregularities going on. Yeah, we're talking about minor <laughs> irregularities. Miscounting, miscounting miles, irregularities. <laughs> a lot of, the, lot of it about at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's like, um, you know, to stay sane in these times, you've got to get out, haven't you? Yeah. We've got to get out. Yeah. And, and, and neither of us do it enough. Do yeah. it enough. Yeah. Well, that's right. I try and get out on the bike yeah, right. a couple of times a week, but yeah. it's progressively uh, getting harder yeah. as the weather, bad weather closes in. Yeah. But we still do walks. Yeah. 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 Take advantage of the window of opportunity with the weather and the, and the rules. Yeah. 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 This is a big day out for me, this is. Yeah. Rules. We're not really following the rules. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> 